Okay, so what are two things not to do when you're feeling behind in life? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today. Thank you all so much for being here. You are awesome. You are amazing. There's no doubt about that. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Okay, so two things not to do when you're feeling behind in life. Number one is compare yourself to others. Comparison mutes our own talents, meaning that rather than bringing forth your talents, if you're comparing yourself to others, you're muting your talents and you're applying that other person's talents on top of your talents. So therefore you're muting, you're smothering your own talents and you're trying to imitate what someone else is doing. Comparison mutes one's own talents. Be an original, be an individual. We all have something unique about us, right? So that uniqueness is yearning to come out. But if we're comparing ourselves to others, we're hiding our own uniqueness. Therefore, don't compare yourself to others. And I know it's easier said than done because we often find ourselves scrolling social media and, you know, seeing this account and that account. I think it's just a natural thing. You have to be very disciplined not to do it. It takes work, but it is doable. When we look at something else and we say to ourselves, well, I would like to be there someday. We start comparing what they're doing to what we're doing. And oftentimes that puts us in a state of sadness or a state of anxiety or depression, especially if we feel as though that person is moving ahead of us and we're behind. So comparing ourselves to other people just keeps us stagnant and it pushes us further behind because for a lot of people, they tend to give up before they even get started because they're stuck in comparison mode. So whatever you do, don't compare yourself to another person. You are unique. You have talents and gifts that the world longs to see. But if you're comparing yourself to her, him, and them, guess what? We don't get to see your amazing gifts or talents. So don't compare yourself to others because like I said before, comparison mutes your talents. And number two, if you're feeling behind in life, do not rush and do so many things that you fall further behind. Most of the time, when we're feeling behind in life and we're older than most, we tend to rush to get things out. So we're blessed with an idea or we're blessed with that idea and this idea and that idea. And we're like, okay, I've got to do something. One of these ideas have got to work because I feel behind in life. I feel like I am losing the race of life. Other people are going way ahead of me in life. How do I catch up? Or for some people, they're like, how do I get ahead? That's where that competing mode comes in. And that's something else that you don't want to do. You don't want to compete against other people. But if you have this idea and this idea and that idea, and I'm not saying that they're not all great ideas. I am sure that many of them are, but it's important to do one thing at a time. When we focus on doing one thing at a time, not only can we focus, but we do focus. And that one thing that we're focused on, we're doing it to the best of our ability. And because of that, it comes to fruition in a beautiful way. If you're focused on doing so many things at once, that's often called being scatterbrained and nothing comes together. And because nothing comes together, that enforces more anxiety, angst, you know, anger, feelings of depression and loss as if you're losing a battle or a race and that mutes you or stops you or halts you from or it keeps you from reaching the goal that you know you want to reach, those goals that you set out to reach. But when we compare ourselves to others or when we become scatterbrained, nothing is in order 
it's a dead end because we tend to give up. We tend to stop before we can see any great progress, right? I'm sure many of us have been there and done that. I can say for myself, years ago, I had so many things running up here, so many beautiful ideas to where my mind was so overactive, I had to hone it, right? I had to hone in on the one thing, the one gift first, get that done first. And when that one gift is done and it's a success, then move on to the next idea or the next project. But if you are feeling behind in life, the two things that you should never do, one, compare yourself to others, and two, do too many things at once. Doing those things will just make you fall further behind. You will feel lost. You will feel clueless. Okay, what do I do now? What do I do first? What is going to work or is anything going to work. But when you can focus on that one thing and write it down, because when you write the vision down, you're making that vision or that goal plain. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to achieve. And in order to achieve the want or the desire, I have to do this, this, and this. See, when you write it down, you make a plan. And when you can see the plan, it's harder to veer from it and get lost. It's harder to fall behind when you have a clear, thorough plan. So don't fall prey to the trap of comparison. Comparison will only mute your own talents and gifts and beautiful ideas. Be original because you are awesome. You are amazing. There is no doubt about that. I believe that about you, but you must believe that about yourself. Like I said, I am author and poet Katie Gates, and I'm so happy that you're here. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Help my channel grow. Let's get the message out there. Let's spread hope, healing, and love, right? So give this channel a thumbs up or this video a thumbs up and share it if you want to. Once again, thank you so much for being here and I will see you soon. Bye.